Hello everyone. Um, welcome to another Sunday Facebook Live. I am going to be sharing with you a male version of one of the cards that I've put out on the Tutorial Bundle Blog Hop this week. Um, Lisa, hello. Hello, hello. Um, so if you're watching live, say hi. If you're watching on the replay, put replay. Um, I'm going to upload this video to YouTube as well. So you might be watching me on YouTube. So um, feel free to comment as well. Afternoon, Donetta. Um, Can I just say thank you so much to absolutely everybody who has put the most lovely comments. I have seen them. We've been busy out at Soft Play today, though, um, on um, my corporate blog post so this card and this little box went up um as part of the artisan design team we're asked to um, put some projects up a few times in the year um and i was first up this year hello the lovely kim uh so everyone has put the most lovely comments so thank you happy new year lauren um i will get around to commenting on all the comments um, perhaps this evening or, or later in the week. So, Cherry, hello! Live! Um, I will share the card that I'm going to be making. Well, I'll show you the girly version. Um, this is the card that I made for the tutorial bundle blog hop. So, check that out and um, have a hop round. There's some really gorgeous projects on there. Um, I'm going to tonight make a male version um with the geared up garage um i know we sometimes get a bit stuck for man cards so that's um same layout kind of similar techniques and then we'll just change it up for a man card so i will start crafting get making and then people can kind of i'll try and keep an eye on the comments as people are hopping in i know i'm unusually on time so <laughs> sorry if i've thrown you <laughs> hey rebecca how are we all doing? Right, I'm just going to flip the camera around. Let me turn you over. There we go. Move that to one side. Hopefully you can see. So one of the things with this card. Hi Donna. Uh, where is it? So with this one here, I've embossed in white and I've used the edgelets from... Mm, be mine stitch framelets so this one has got all these dies in it um but this is the die here that i've used and i've just run it through the big shot four times but as pretty that as that is i'm not sure i thought it was a bit <laughs> It was girly is a bad word, isn't it? But I didn't, I didn't think it was the right fit with the geared up garage. So um, I have got the embossing mat out. Wrong thing. Let's put them away. Heather, hello. Uh, right. Let's put them out of the way. And I thought I would share with you how this. And I don't know if you've seen this. This um, is the embossing mat. Um, so I'll show you the final kind of run through, but I'll show you how I've got that. There's two mats that come with it. One is, um, or three mats that come with it. One that goes through the machine with everything. And then there's a thicker rubber mat and the thinner, like blue, thin one. So the blue thin one has got the lesser embossed you can definitely still see it but it's not as um, deep impression and then you've got the really deep impression with the cogs with the the thicker card so um i'm going to go for the thicker one but it's exactly the same technique for both and you'll see how that runs through the big shot so let me just pop that out the way i'm just trying to remember which i want those bits here we go. Nothing like the pressure of watching, doing it live. Uh, let's move you up slightly. And move those out of the way. Okay, so 
Let me get this right in my head. So I don't, Donna says, do I miss with water first? I don't. I think you can kind of see on this one. Can you see it? I've got a slight cracking there where I haven't misted with water. So it hasn't kind of been as flexible. But actually, I'm OK with that because I'm going to make this fairly grungy around the edges and everything. So a bit of um, tearing and stuff in this. I'm not that bothered um, on this particular occasion. Um, so we're just going to put the die face up. So that's the cuts. So we're going to put that where we want it. And then we're going to put that face up. Happy New Year, Alison. Missed you yesterday. I'll see you Friday, though. Um, right, big shot. Uh, I'm now having to really think about this. Right, hang on. Platform, platform. That one. So, let me get this right. So, plain platform, no adapter, plate, die, paper, mat. So, then the rubber mat goes over. So that will just be the blue one if you want it a thinner impression, grey one if you want the thicker impression, and then the white platform on top. So let's see if I move this round. Sounds like it's done something. There we go. Da -da. And that is it. They work, they've got, as I say, it got a slight crack on there. But I think that's kind of awesome. And um, yeah, and it just gives you a lovely background. So you could put that on as many as you want. Um, and you can do that with any of your dies with that emb embossing platform. So it just makes your dies go twice as far. So that is really cool. So if you don't have one of them, they are Awesome. <laughs> uh, so that is the cogs let's just put that a bit closer and then I'm going to stamp out the car I was going to stamp straight onto the crumb cake to get the exactly the same look as my other card um but then I wanted the cogs so I didn't <laughs> white oh I don't know the white might look a bit funny let's try this we can always do it on white if this doesn't quite work so we're going to do it on concrete I've used the um it is definitely worth putting on your shopping list Lauren because if you've got a load of dies any of your dies then make an embossed background so I think it's something like £14. It's really, really, compared to the dies and things, it's not really expensive to make your dies go so much further. Definitely worth um, investing in. So let's. So I've got the Poppy Parade um, light and dark. And I'll just colour this. So on my original card, I'd embossed in white and then I'd colour with coloured with the pencils. Um, which is I'm just gonna try them. I agree, Donna, completely. It is reasonable. It does so much and it just, as I say, it's makes all your dies embossing folders basically you've got all that coordinating texture then um, so coloring on the sahara sand will make these blends slightly more muted and my ink hasn't made those tires very black just going to give them a bit of a polish <laughs> uh, let's add 
so we'll just put the black blend on just to make them not so grainy. There you go. Totally agree, Angie. I not, don't think the dyes are expensive for what they are. I think they're ama they're great, but I think the um, embossing mat is really reasonable to make all your beautiful dyes go so much further. So, headlights. I want pineapple punch. Where have I got shadow from tonight? I've got a weird amount of shadow coming over. I think it's just my... Lights. So this is light smoky slate. And there is uh the dye for that. So the set comes with that's the dies. Let's move that back up. So that will then cut this out like so. Oh, I'll just wind that through. Uh, put my layers back on. I've, I've lost the hang on. It's running away. Let's see if I can cut this straight. I've been really lazy and I've just twisted round on my chair to try and do this rather than just get up and uh, okay. right that has cut that out and so this has got all the other cogs and it's got all the pieces to cut out all the other coordinating stamps in the set so let's put that to one side then I had used the Pick a Pattern Washi Tape, which is a set of five washies. So you get all those black and whites. But I thought the arrows would look really cool with the car. So I'm gonna snug that. Hey Kayla, how are you? Morning, morning. Uh, that's going to go on there somewhere. We've got some twine. I've got the black and the linen. I think I'm going to stick with the linen so that it will be the same as the other card. Before I do that, actually, I'm just going to, rather than putting a um, die cut border, I'm just going to grunge up the edge a little bit with the scissors. So give that a rough edge. Hey Lauren, how are you? You having a relaxing Sunday? We went out to um, soft play with one of Joshua's friends. That was nice. They tore about in there and uh, Steve and I sat and chilled. And uh, what else have I done today? I got my January birthday cards made. That was productive. And back to work tomorrow. So, all right. You could rough that up as much as you want, really. You could go crazy. Let's turn that over. <laughs> Look away, Heather. Look away. It's okay. It'll be okay. <laughs> Heather says she can't cope with me doing that to those nice straight edges. It'll look fine when it's finished, I promise. <laughs> uh 
Right, I need to get that washi tape off because that's looking a bit strange just with that. Let's rough that down there. Okay. Uh, that'll fit in there a bit better. I think we're then going to ink this a little bit. Let's do that. Uh, hey Stacy, how are you? Uh, right. Okay, I think I'm done. You can look back now, Heather. <laughs> it's all okay. Get rid of that. Fluff. So I want just the daubers. My neutrals are the only ones that are actually labelled. I obviously got bored. Or maybe they're not even all labelled. Some of them are. I've got crumb cake labelled. Let's just go with that one. I'm good, thank you. Yes. It's been nice having all the time off over Christmas and stuff. So back back to it properly, properly tomorrow. Right. Let's sand. Just give this a bit of ink on the edges. And ink on the doorbell goes miles. You could, you could ink that up as much as you want. So. Right. Oh, that's bothering me a little bit. Mm. That's what free from faff about with these bits, but... Linen thread around. So we've got, I'll just leave a tail there and I'm going to go twice round. And I'll tie this in a knot. And then we've got these, which coordinate with the suite, which are keys and spanners. Uh, and I'm going to use a key. And I'm going to pop on. And I'm going to pop that on to there. I love these. I've ordered more. <laughs> I knew I was going to get through them all, really. Look at that. Cute. That key would make great, like, pass your driving test. 20, like, they'd be great as well for 21st, things like that. So, all right. I know it's a man card and some people are like, mm, bows, but I, I like a bow. Gonna have a bow, and we're gonna pop. That's gonna go there. So we just need a sentiment. So let's do that, and then we can figure out where the car's gonna go. Uh, let's grab black, and for the other card, I did use wherever I put the card here. So I have um, chopped, can you see that that happy birthday has got, you barely can see it, but the happy birthday is in that set, which is 
somewhere on my desk that I can't lay my hand on. But the happy and the birthday are on top of that. Like it's happy and then birthday underneath. I'm going to use the happy birthday from a different set, which is in just in the itty bitty birthday set. So this is happy birthday here, but this has got some great birthday stuff in it. So cheers to you. You're not old, you're just older. There's loads of good ones in there. But I'm just going to use the happy birthday. So I'm just going to pop that somewhere up top. And go for that in white. So we've got the sentiment. That's where I got it from, Lauren. I knew it. <laughs> I knew it. I had it from from like almost the start of the catalogue. We got it on stage, didn't we? That's right. Very useful. Right. Let's. that up so and then we get that chopped let's see I can't, I'm peering over the top I haven't seen I'm not seeing comments let me hmm. I'll worry about it later right. happy birthday Do it with a straightener. There. That's fine. And whether to put that on the other one, I had the sentiment up top. I'm thinking I don't want to hide too much of the washi. Stick, stick with it up top. Let's put that on there. That car is cool. Uh, I don't know why I didn't. I didn't order the papers. I have now. I kind of thought, oh, I will, I will get round to it. But I don't. I didn't when I originally ordered the set. But the papers. Kim has done some cool cards where. Kim's done loads of cool cards. Check on Pinterest for Simply Fairies. And Kim's done loads of lovely cards. She demoed this set on stage. Um, but she's cut out the papers that have got motorbike. Oh, was it motorbikes and another type of car in it? So you can get different stuff out of that too. Uh, right, that is going to be popped up on Dimensionals. Uh, one, two, three, and pop that straight and center up the top, and then kind of straight. We'll do that with the card. No one will know. <laughs> Right, I want, I think, uh, what colour base do we want for this? White, maybe? Vanilla, maybe vanilla. Let's grab some. 
I don't use my vanilla very often. I always tend to go for my white. It's a bit of a habit, but the vanilla might look quite nice with that. Let's do vanilla. And Voila. So, and let's put that there. And ta -da. What's that? Oh, I can see Kim. When I came off stage, my little keys and spanners went flying. I only came with. Oh no! Have you ordered more since? I can only say see more. I'm gonna have to get my comments. I have to reply to comments afterwards. Sorry, guys. Kind of keep seeing bits over the top. Right. Um, that is deck card done. Da da. Uh, and. Was it? What else was I going to show with you? Oh, I was going to show you a little bit of the blends and bits, but um, let me just grab uh, with this blending with this. I'll just show you how I've done the flower on the other card, just because I thought it would be nice to see both. And um, I probably won't make the full card up. Let me just grab some Sahara sand. right with so just to share for those who are kind of haven't seen this technique before uh put it away see this i shouldn't do things on the hoof like this when i haven't on the floor uh, there we go found it found it found it Justine, hello. Right, let's get some Versamark on this. And a bit of embossing buddy across there. And then this, we'll just do to the edge. So, we'll just stamp that in the Versamark. Which you can't really see me. And then we'll do white. <laughs> Kids, I love your openness. Good job, because it's all I've got. on here. Oh, try to take my fingers off. going to do the cutting on the edge but I was just going to show you with the watercolour pencils so I'd used what have I used orange so these orange so I've used the old olive the daffodil delight and the pumpkin pie they all come in the same set these ones so the watercolour pencils Obviously, you can watercolour with them. So when you colour with them, they will blend with the blender pen or you can use them on watercolour paper and you can properly swoosh them about with the water. Um, on this particular card, I haven't put anything on because I like the texture of the pencil line. But I've just coloured quite softly. Um, 
and then you can add more if you want to but the embossing of the, the lines will keep your kind of pencil line in and then you can add shading by pressing harder and then just lift so you get that texture so same color pencil but that sort of pushed hard harder and then that's lighter stay off money they're in a safe place <laughs> or you've tidied they're in that when you've tidied up you should never tidy I always lose at least 10 things when I've tidied. All the kids have had them. Just like, I'm just going to borrow your pencils. Right, these leaves. I need a touch of colour because there's quite a lot of embossing on those. So they're quite quick to do, really. And that. like one line of pencil up there yeah yeah exactly I like that, your mini ones they may have borrowed them just to test that they're okay right uh yellow so i'm gonna add the daffodil delight on first so light color with that Ah, Angie says you should use the side and not the point. The problem is when I'm colouring, I'm kind of, I am kind of on the side of that. Um, the, the problem is between the embossing, if I colour on the side, I kind of scrape the embossing up off the card. So I actually want to use the point of the pencil to get in between the embossing lines. I think if you were doing a bigger area, I think you're, I, I would absolutely agree. Um, I just find there's more, I, I don't know, more control, but I'm going very light with it. So I'm then going to add some of the orange again, just the pumpkin pie and just lightly add, very lightly add. And then I sort of go over that with the yellow. It doesn't blend it like the blends, but it um, you can combine the two colours together and you can just go very softly. So you've got a touch of orange in there. And if you wanted to, um, then you could... Oh, I nearly forgot that. And she says, do I go round in circle? Not with the pencils I haven't. I've gone back and forth just because I didn't want the circle lines. I wanted it to be the flow of the actual image. Um, again, if I was doing, I was actually going to watercolour it, then circles might kind of blend better, um, perhaps. But in this case, I want it to um, flow with the with the image. So a touch of orange on there. Hello from Wyoming. Hello, hello. Tanya, hello. There's lots of lovely people on here this evening. Right, I have done the colouring. Um, and then, oh, let's run it through. Let's just run it through the big shot. Let's run it through the big shot. We'll do one side. So, I was like, no, no, I'll just do the colouring. Oh, Christy, I dip the point of the pencil into water and blend at the same time. That's also a great technique, but I just wanted the dry pencil line on this. I didn't actually want any water. I wanted the um, the the line of the pencil so that you could see it. Uh, let's move this up a bit. Um, so for this one, I'm just going to grab some tape. 
you could use washi tape or your magnetic platform if you have one. And I've got just some non-sticky tapes to hold that in place. So that will go through. Ta -da. How pretty is that? And then just run that through four four times to get the border on all four edges. So make sure that's straight. And then that. I'm going long ways with the die because it gives a longer sort of roll over the die. If I put it in, it will fit, um, but if I put it in, let me just show it will kind of, it will fit that way round. And you see that it will go through, the, it will just go through the big shot, um, but it kind of clunks. Can you hear it go? Ugh, because it's jumping over that one tiny bit of the die. Um, And it has cut, but um, and it's cut exactly the same as the other ones. But I just think I don't like that clunking when it just goes over that really thin die. If you can get it going the full length, um, it is from. Did I see someone had asked the question which die set is that from? It's from the new B Mine stitched framelets. So it's in this set, and that is one of the edgelets um, in that set, and they're all gorgeous in there um this heart i've used a lot already that stitched one uh, so that is those um and that's how i've got the edge on there i have got the rectangle frame that's coming which is cool but it won't give you the scallop it will give you the straight um not that i'm any less excited about getting my hands on those rectangle dies um so that is those. And then I just put a bit of washi on that to finish and a sentiment. So for that one, I used the scallop um, washi because it matched the scallop on the... Um... Oh, Becca, 78 watching. That is amazing. Um, thank you, everyone. Right, let's chop that. I will... As I wasn't intending to make this up to a whole card, I will give this card away. So for those that have commented, shared. Um, if you have shared and haven't commented, shared, please do so. I'll check over the comments afterwards um, and pick out a name at random and I'll pop this card in the post to you. Um, oh, Stacey, I'm so jealous. Hopefully mine should be here towards the end of the week. I'll be able to play with them next weekend. I have now finally ordered them. Da, da, da. So I'm going to use that same happy birthday. Um, or can we, we could use, actually, as I'm going to send it to uh, somebody who is watching and has shared. Let's put on here. Um, you're so awesome. I don't know why I just burst into an American terrible accent then. <laughs> Right, you're so awesome. Let's pop that. Bigger block. This one is from the Flowering Desert stamp set, the cactus one. Uh, it is gorgeous, Maggie. Let's do that. We'll do it in white embossing the same. Okay. 
case that I love the cactus set. I love the cactus set too. I haven't actually, this is the first time I've put ink on it and I've just used the words. I need to, um, I need to play with it. Oh, Danetta, you're so sweet. Thank you. Uh, right, let's heat this. Wide, isn't it? Um, we'll just trim. <laughs> My blade needs replacing. Just look away because it's the the black fluffs more anyway than most, just because it's quite fibrous. But the my blade does need replacing. I'm prepping loads of kits for um, the launch. And it was already needing swapping out because I've been using it for Christmas cards and all sorts. So, and I have new blades, I just haven't changed it. Right. There we go. Oh my goodness. Right, let's put that over there and cover up some of the colouring, but that's okay. Um, uh, we've got some dimensionals to go on there just put a few just a few <laughs> don't want to be stingy with the dimensionals right let's put that there we'll have some twine Da -da. Got. I love the scallop wash to go with the scallop. It does. It coordinates really well, doesn't it? It just it, it's the same size, so that's what. I, and I picked it. I did have the stripy one on to start with, and then I changed it. All right, let's put that round there. A couple of times. Oh. And <laughs> bless you, Kayla. I've got a party. I've got a hundred people in our party. Imagine if we were on like proper video call and we could see everyone. That would be fun. Right, let's I think we're done. Let's put that onto a card base. Uh that needs to go on white because of the white embossing. And let's have a look in here. Uh, let's see. Okay, right. That is going to score and fold. And let's put that would be one big video call, wouldn't it, Andy? <laughs> uh, right. Do this on here. And I get to use my new stamp this year. So I'm going to stamp these up as well. And I will, so I will send out the two cards that I've made. So let's get these happening. Da, da, da. <laughs> yeah, and I, I'm not quite prepared for that, Kayla. <laughs> you can have people on a Facebook Live. A hundred. All right, let's go. There we go. All right, we've got one and two. So we have done two cards, one girly, one masculine, same layout. I will upload this to um, YouTube as well. So if you've been watching on there, thank you very much. If you've been watching on replay, um, please pop a replay in the comments. I'd love to see who's been watching along and chat to you. Um, oh, Kayla, I know. It's been, it's been an awesome, awesome year last year. 
Um, but my, my stamp will never go anywhere. So, um, right. Thank you, everyone, for watching. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for all the lovely comments. I will check back through and comment along um, and try and reply to you all. Um, thank you so much for watching. Um, and I will see you back here next Sunday for another Facebook Live. See you all later. Bye.